I saw him and he just drove away right when I was about to get in the car. I'm like, so you don't want my money? Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is already starting off a little unknown, a little hectic. Um, I wanted to kind of just take you guys through, where is the light in here? Take you guys through my weekend festivities that I got going on. Today is a Friday. It's about 8.15 p.m. I have an interesting weekend plan, something new, something kind of different. Basically, I just got back from LA uh last night literally got back at 1 a.m and then i had a video to work on so i stayed up until 5 30 in the morning <laughs> filming a video then i slept for a few hours but then i woke up today had a bunch of work to do um, my personal assistant came over which by the way i don't think i've ever like said on youtube that i have a personal assistant now um so she comes to the house we work together we get stuff done so she was here all day today working with me and then I had to start getting ready for what I'm about to do right now which is celebrate my friend Sadie's birthday. You guys know Sadie because she was in the followers road trip video that I did. If you guys have not seen that video I can link it down below. I met her as a subscriber um, through that video. I wanted to hang out with some of my subscribers here in town and we are gonna go out and turn up and have some fun. It also just so happens that um, my little second cousin is having a birthday party, a family birthday party out of town. So since I was already out of town and there was a family birthday party going on out of town, my parents took Zaya to the birthday party out of town. So that's where Zaya is right now. And then Sadie's birthday is tonight, which I'm really excited about. I really don't go out that much. It's usually just for special occasions uh, cause you know, mom life, work life. So right now I am finishing uh, gathering up my stuff. We got a hotel room for the night. I'm kind of running all over the place because I wanted to Uber over to the hotel. So I called an Uber to come pick me up. He came to the house. I literally was walking out the door to get in the car and then he canceled the ride. I saw him. And he just drove away right when I was about to get in the car. I'm like, so you don't want my money? Okay, so then I had to call another Uber who is now 10 minutes away. But the reason why I said that this vlog is gonna be a little bit different or I'm like doing something new is because on Sunday, I have a speaking engagement, which I normally don't do stuff like that. So I'll tell you guys a little bit more about that later. But for now, I gotta finish getting my stuff ready so I can head to the hotel. Wait, look at the birthday girl. Yes, school girl. <laughs> Love it. A whole vibe. Oh, let's, take a, let's take a shot on here. And Kanisha got her booty pants on. Poking. Hey. Yeah. Hey. This is from Opali. Little two piece set. Something slight. And I'm just wearing clear heels because I didn't know what shoes to go with it. So when in doubt, just wear clear. We're about to head out in a moment. Mom's night out because Sadie's has two children if you guys didn't know so it's a mom's night out and, and mom's this night is an honorary out. mom because yeah. she just is we are now at kirby lane the morning after the turn up we well, had fun last night. That was so good. That looks so good. I know. That does. What is that? Um, something. What's the name of that? Francisco. Ex Francisco. So after this, wait, are we still going to? Are we gonna get piercings? I don't know. I'm nervous. I'm in a lot of pain already. <laughs> We were supposed to get piercings as like the finishing touch of her birthday. We should still go. She's nervous. I'll check in later and see if we follow through. Okay, so we just finished eating at Kirby Lane. 
we're full, we're fed. Yes. Coincidentally, there is a good tattoo parlor. I looked it up, it has good reviews. It's called Diablo Rojo. So Sadie and I are getting something special pierced as well as our ears. <laughs> something special. I'll let you guys decide what you think that is. Okay guys, so it is the next day. Today is Sunday. I didn't really vlog the rest of like the day after we got our piercings done, but I wanted to show you what I got. So I had my nose ring switched out to an actual gold hoop. I had a silver hoop in there at first and it had like a ball closure on it, which was really annoying. If you guys might have noticed in some of my vlogs, like the ball would always flip around and it would look weird like I have something in my nose. And then I also got a little extra third ear piercing. So I already had two. I'm not wearing an earring in the first one right now, but I put a little stud for the third hole. I eventually want to have like a full ear of like all different types of piercings because I just really like the way that looks. Those are my piercings. Zaya is here with me right now. We've just been chilling. Uh, my parents came back in town with her like right when I got home from like getting my piercings. They came back. So I've been with her spending time last night. And right now I am about to do my makeup and fix my hair and everything because today is my speaking engagement, whatever you wanna call it. I am going to be speaking at a Jack and Jill um, like meeting. If you guys don't know what Jack and Jill is, I actually used to be a member when I was younger. Jack and Jill of America, it is a membership organization for, it was like started by African American mothers who wanted to bring black kids together, bring the youth together to do like volunteer activities, um, like uh, leadership building events. It's just like a positive organization to help black kids grow up to be great. That's kind of like the main purpose behind it. Now, my local like chapter, I guess, has actually asked me to come and speak at one of their um, events and kind of just talk to the kids about being an entrepreneur, following your dreams. What are you doing? Don't bang on that. <laughs> hey, Zaya. I'm serious. Zaya always likes to like be in here and mess with my makeup and stuff when I'm doing my makeup, but there's certain things I don't want her to mess with. So yeah, they're having me come and speak to the youth about kind of what I do and how I got to where I am and just answer any questions that they may have. So it's kind of a cool like full circle moment for me because I used to be a kid in this organization. I remember going to um, like hearing people speak and stuff and now I'm speaking at the event. So hmm. um, I think it's going to be a pretty casual like setting, like nothing super big or scary. So I'm not really nervous. Um, also because I do feel more comfortable talking to young people <laughs> versus talking to people who are older than me. It's just easier to just like talk to young people. This is just real simple, just me telling them about myself and telling them my story. So I feel pretty confident that like I know what I'm gonna say without like writing a script or anything. Um, Cause I have not prepared a script. I'm like, I think I know my own life. I think I could do this. <laughs> while I do that, Papa is gonna come over and have a little play date with Zaya and watch Zaya while I do that. I talked about this um, milk makeup, what is it called? The Flex Foundation Stick on my um, Instagram stories a while ago, but I've been really liking this, especially when you're like trying to kind of do your makeup fast. You can paint it on. I would not recommend something like this if you have active acne though, cause that can be like bacteria, but. If your skin's doing pretty good, you can use this, draw it on, and then it blends out really nicely and easily. I'm looking kind of orange on camera right now, but I feel like this color matches my body. My face is always way, way, way lighter than my body, also because I do fake tan sometimes, and I do have a tan on right now, and it has good coverage too. And it doesn't feel heavy at all, it's, it's very light. Okay, I also wanted to show you guys how I've been putting on my lashes, because this is just way easier for me and maybe it'll help you guys too. So first thing I do after I finish my eyeshadow is I draw eyeliner just in the inner corner of my eye. And I like to use eyeliner like this, like a pen. So like the Fenty Beauty pen, this one is the Beauty Bakery liquid liner pen, because it just fits perfectly like to just 
draw just the inner corner. The reason why I do that is because I just feel like my eyes look weird if I don't like continue the line. Like if I just have lashes and then the inner corner is kind of empty, it just looks weird. And my eyes are far apart, so I like to do whatever I can to like bring them closer together. So I'm gonna be trying the Nicole Guerrero Eye Lure lashes. I've actually never tried these surprisingly, even though I'm a huge Nicole fan. Two things you need. You need the lash tweezer thing, which you can probably get these on Amazon or whatever. Mine are from Your Lash Bar. Shout out my girl Taylor. You can use regular tweezers too probably, but these just like really work. And then you need the glue that actually has like a paintbrush on it. So this has like a little, almost like a little eyeliner type brush on it. And the reason why I use this is because what I do is I literally paint the glue onto my lid as if it was eyeliner going across go all the way across from end to end while that is almost like getting tacky I take my mascara I apply mascara also to kind of get the glue off of my lashes a little bit do just a light coat of mascara take your lash tweezers make sure their tweezers are not sticky because sometimes then the lash wants to just stick to the tweezers and not to your eye a little hack I do for that is actually spray it with setting spray so that it's like wet and not sticky at all hopefully that makes sense then you perfectly get your lash on like that and you can literally pop on your lash like boom it literally just pops on adjust the corners make sure they're stuck down squeeze your lashes with the false lash using these things squeeze Having the mascara on your lashes already helps to like stick it together and boom, voila, super easy lash application. And it stays on super good too. That's what I like about it. Okay, so let me finish makeup and get dressed because I'm about to be late. How many minutes do I have? 30 minutes. So please let's give Raymond a big creator. Uh, this was not always my full-time job. I started posting on social media, I would say heavily back in high school. So for me, that was like 2007, <laughs> a little while ago. I uh, shared posts about my outfit of the day or DIY projects that I was working on at the time. And I really didn't think anything of it. It's just what I love to do. I was always interested in fashion and beauty and hair. So posting about it online just So I just got home from the Jack and Jill meeting. It went well, um, but yeah, it seemed like the kids were, you know, interested. They were listening. They asked a bunch of questions and stuff, and it wasn't like Mommy. awkward or anything. Mommy, are we going to a restaurant? Yes, we're going to a restaurant. So I'm back home now. My parents are still downstairs. Like I said, Papa was um, watching her. I'm gonna change Zaya's clothes real quick and we're probably gonna go just somewhere casual for dinner a little family sunday dinner you want to just put a skirt over that it's just too, this is too small how about we just change your pants all together no i don't want you to change your pants here you want to put this skirt over it yeah here, put i don't that on. want to change my pants you can leave those tights on zaya is obsessed with these thick tights that i got her because she's obsessed with footy pajamas. She likes to have her foot in clothes. She just likes to be cozy. So I'm like, you can't wear pajamas all day. So then she goes and puts those on because it's the closest thing. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I was just saying the thing went well. They gave me flowers and a little, which I still didn't even open my gift. They gave me really pretty flowers and a little gift. 
Oh, a candle. Ooh, candle and a card. Really sweet. So that was nice. It's just me and Zaya doing our nighttime routine. I'm about to run her a bath. Last few days have been a little bit much for me. I'm feeling run down, I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling like I just wanna get a very, very good night's sleep. Tomorrow is Monday, so it's the start of a whole nother week, a whole nother set of things. My little introverted self is like, please stay home and just go to sleep because so Wednesday, went to LA, had dinner with Tiffany. Thursday, had a photo shoot all day then went to lunch, then came back home, then stayed up late filming a video till 5.30 a.m., woke up on Friday, worked, went to Sadie's birthday, came home. So I said, Bougie trying to jump in the bathtub. He knows better than to jump in there. Bougie, hey, stop it. Bougie is extremely wild, curious, playful. He has a fun personality, but he's like mischievous. Like, you've got to watch him. Anyway, Saturday, hung out with Sadie and them for coming home, super tired. And then today is Sunday and you obviously saw what I did today. I'm like, I need a good night's sleep tonight to prepare for Monday and the upcoming week. But it was a fun weekend. Um, it's good for me every now and then to kind of just do different things and get out more and socialize and stuff. So I'm not complaining, but I'm just tired. So I'm going to get Zaya ready for bed and I'm gonna go to bed and we're gonna get back to the daily grind tomorrow.